Thanks for tuning into the first episode of Vending Market Watch News. I'm Emily Reformat, editor of Automatic Merchandiser Magazine and VendingMarketWatch.com. Today we're covering probably the biggest manufacturer split of the year, the spin-off of Mondelez International from Kraft Foods. While the split became official on October 1st, questions remain. What does this mean for the vending industry? What has changed? And lastly, how did they choose the name Mondelez? Here with us to share some answers is Paul Schindelar. Thanks for joining us today, Paul. It's great to be with you today, Emily. Um, Mondelez International, very interesting, actually came about uh, two employees on opposite ends of the globe uh, came up with the, uh, with the name. And Mondelez uh, very simply means Monda, which means world. Delize meaning delicious. So it's uh, ultimately the delicious world. And, and it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a really nice name, ultimately. Um, and we're, uh, we're having a lot of fun talking to our customers about what it does mean because, you know, it is, it is a question and, uh, and it's not uh, something that they're familiar with. So um, that's what Mondelez International is all about. And Paul, what will the vending segment of Mondelez International look like? Which brands will be included? Yeah, Mondelez International Vending, okay, here in the uh, States, it's all about Oreo and Ritz and Chips Ahoy and Fig Newton, Lorna Dune, brands that we've been selling to operators for, for many, many years. These brands, you know, are 100 years and older in some cases. Oreo and Lorna Dune both turned 100 years this year. Um, Fig Newton is older and uh, has been, you know, really part of our portfolio in the vending channel for, for many, many years. And then we have non-chocolate items like Sour Patch and Swedish Fish. And, uh, and these brands do phenomenally well in the channel as well. Um, and, uh, and gum is a very important part of our portfolio uh, that, you know, as we move forward. It's really a snacking uh, opportunity that, you know, we, we maybe haven't capitalized uh, on within the channel itself. And uh, Trident, Dentine, Stride, they're all very well known. Trident is the number one gum in America. And, um, and we're going to spend a lot of time working with our operators to try to build on that uh, gum portfolio as well. And who will vending operators and distributors be contacting in the new company? Well, the vending contacts are our direct sales force number one. Uh, my group, we have three regions, east, central, and west. We have eight districts, and we have roughly 100 folks on a direct basis, which includes our national account team, that will be selling uh, our brands into the vending and the uh, food service channels. So um, there's a lot of folks that are on the street. Uh, some are legacy uh, Nabisco folks that have been selling cookies and crackers for a lot of years, and we're all about selling cookies, crackers, gum, and candy. Paul, can you speak about how the change will affect consumers? Will they notice a difference? The uh, packaging uh, for Mondelez International, the logos and the changes uh, really are going to be something very, you know, you're not going to really notice very much, to be honest with you. Uh, we have 18 months to update all of our materials, and, you know, our brands are first and foremost. So Oreo, Fig Newton, Lorna Dune, Ritz, Chips Ahoy, you know, those are always going to be out in the front. And, uh, you know, that's going to be something very consistent that uh, the consumer will not get confused with. The only, the only packaging changes that really will take place are on the back of the package. It'll say Mondelez International. So it's, it's, it's going to be very simple for us to go ahead and uh, make sure that consumers understand you know, that our brands, or our, can, our, our iconic brands, are still the ones that really drive what Mondelez International is all about. Thanks, Paul. For more information on Mondelez International, visit the official website, mondelezinternational.com, or the food service website, fs-snacks-desserts.com. Next month, we'll find out more about Mondelez International's plans for 2013 and the ways it will support the vending industry. Until then, I'm Emily Reformat, editor of Automatic Merchandiser Magazine and VendingMarketWatch.com. 
And this is Vending Market Watch News.